Gentlemen, welcome to episode 23 of the Friggin' Nerds Podcast. I am your host, Mario Lima, as always, joined by the Friggin' Nerds crew, starting off with, all the way from the Matrix, Lee Dumas. I feel like we're doing that thing, you know, that like football uh, football players do right before they go on the field where they get like really pumped up. Jazzercise? Yeah, we're so, like, I felt like we were doing. Like, hitting the I, we're like, shoulder pads <gasps> and <gasps> come on, <gasps> go out on the field. <laughs> I was actually picturing I was actually picturing little pyro going off on the bottom of our screen (laughs) as as we're coming on like we're coming we're talking about wrestling so I'm just here (laughs) hell yeah also joined by all the way from Nashville Tennessee the lovely Britt Berkey hello (laughs) hello. it's me (laughs) it's Brittany bitch and of course rounding out the team you know him you love him very Voluptuous, sweaty Mike. What's up, guys? Eh? Oh goodness! He does. He's got a. He has got a behind. I do. I've got a. I've got a voluptuous booty. He's got all the curves that He's I wish that I had, but was born without. <laughs> exactly. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the Friggin'ers podcast. Mario, is Everybody. that exactly how you feel as yeah. well? Exactly. Yeah. He's like, let's let's steer this shit back uh, on course because we're already off. the Mario. Also he's U-turn and he's like, no. Mike's curves. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're. It's like it's too early for this, man. I haven't dr- have enough drinks yet for this. But uh, to start off the show, we start with our very favorite segment that, and of course, your favorite segment where we make you guys money. This is called the swear jar. And for gosh sake, watch your language. Each week, the hosts are given a keyword that we are not allowed to say during the podcast. Each time that word is said, one dollar gets added to the frigidaire swear jar. And at the end and of the it se- is growing, it's growing big. Uh, at the end of the Woo! season, one lucky audience member will be given that entire pot of money. Uh, we're at a whopping, really thir- thirty-five dollars. Thank you, thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Uh, yeah, last, last time was... was thanks, Mike. Last, <laughs> yes, the last episode, like, I was doing great for, like, a few episodes in a row, and it went way downhill in the last episode it's that we're all here. Rails. So, you're welcome, chat. You're welcome. Beautiful. So, that being said, the swear word jar, the swear word, swear jar word of the day is arrow. Uh one big piece of news in uh, the friggin' Nerds news today is the uh, trailer for Hawkeye coming out very soon for this Christmas season. Uh, so the big word is arrow. The things that Hawkeye f- uh, fires off, not the things that you see on the su- on the on the on the roads, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why Lee is pouring. It's really distracting the hell because, out of me. Because um, <laughs> you can see my Any... finger disappointing behind the coat every so often. Oh my I have a green god. I mean, any any way that you use the word arrow, it's going to count. Hey. <laughs> so it, could be, it could be arrows that you see on the road. It could be. It could be anything. So, where word <laughs> of the day is arrow after this season. After this, I can't talk today. After, after season, we can't Mario. say it anymore. Yeah, yeah, we can't say arrow for the rest of the season. After the sentence, we can't say the word arrow starting now. There it is. My God. Can you tell? Look, my fingers disappoint. Yeah, they disappear. Okay, can you stop with the fingers, man? You're just like it's like it's like an hour of fingers. Immediately, like a follow up prescription of Adderall (laughs) just for Tuesday evening. Yes, just a small like that happens for an hour. What what sort of thing points, Mario? Lee. Yeah, you. (laughs) Me. Oh my gracious! John Travolta. (laughs) Okay. John Travolta. Michael Jackson. Oh my Ow. goodness! Anyways, Daniel man, Brian, Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson. <laughs> we can't call him Daniel Bryan anymore oh, for right. legal reasons. Airline attendants. Airline attendants. Okay, sorry. Ooh. This is called uh, the point. The pointy <laughs> show. Fire all 
of us. I'll say, man, I think, uh, and, I, and I thought I had it rough last week by myself. I'm like, maybe it'll be a little easier. <laughs> no, no, you did not <laughs> miss us. Let's be real. Mario's waiting to go back to last week. He's I like, was oh, like, gosh. the whole time recording that Effective. show, I was like waiting for somebody to interrupt me in my ear, like you know, to say something. And I was like, this is weird. No one's talking while I'm trying to and make that's, points. And that's why you got so nervous, right? That's why you were like, oh, I got to fill all this space because I don't have anyone to interrupt me. Exactly. And now, and now and we missed us. And now we got it back. Anyways, guys, moving on with the show, we t- we we kind of teased us on Twitter earlier today. Uh, we're bringing back one of our other favorite segments, versus where we take two fandom characters and match them up together and have them fight each other. This week, we have two big bigums that are in the news. This week, we have Shang Chi. I said it right. Versus Neo yes. from the Matrix. Yo. Two guys that know Kung Fu and can whip some ass. This is an interesting one. I was really thinking hard about this one. Uh, I'm going to let you guys start off. I just want to I just want to start off real quick by saying that this guy, this picture of Neo makes him look like the guy from Grandma's Boy. The really creepy, like, I am not a real Oh, that's what he's guy. based off, I think. He's based <laughs> off Neo. Is he? he? Looks like a guy I, I went to like your face. high school with that like right. weird kid that I hate no one face. talked to. <laughs> well, here's I'll start I'll start us out and say this. When I was watching Shang Chi, I often was going, "This looks very Matrixy." Yes. This look. Oh, that move looks straight out of the Matrix. Like well, it I think felt they, like there were a lot of. Um, I think they used a lot of the same effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, they talked about using a lot of wire work and stuff that right. they used in the Matrix wire work or water work wire wire work they oh. both have martial arts skills mm-hmm. they also have like magical skills uh, what would you call their other stuff yeah like, like supernatural skills yeah like like godlike skills does Shang-Chi... extraordinary skills <laughs> yes because they when he went to tay lao or ta lao Taylo, oh dang anyways you know they taught him like his mother to use uh, like the elemental forces and stuff gonna just mark somebody uh, off my list for the draft later uh yeah <laughs> i guess i have to mark him off too oh dang, dang it he was my top pick yeah i'm gonna mark him Ooh, off but <laughs> well now now we're now we're completely derailing <laughs> well the, i because i was trying to think yeah I thought he only had powers when he had the rings. No, it's Brit's right. Uh, and and sorry, this is spoilers for people who have not seen Shang Chi yet. Uh, if you haven't, what's wrong chat. with you? We'll give a thumbs up when we're done with talking about this, but then you'll have to mute again later. So I don't know, maybe. You, why haven't you seen Shang Chi yet? Like, yeah. what, what are you doing? we already get, told you to go watch it. Get off right. of here um, and then come back we'll on Thursday. Our hands like this when it's safe yeah. to come back. But in the like midway point of the movie, his his aunt teaches him kind of the. I mean, it looks like the last Airbender. He's learning how mm-hmm. to like manipulate the air and stuff around him. So yeah, that's that superpowers. That's superpowers. I mean, it's like I mean, magic you can see that in the trailer. That's not really spoilers, the four elements. So. True, true. So not really spoilers, guys. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. There will be spoilers later, though. Just yes. disclaimer <laughs> for Shang Chi. Yeah, so. I love that part of Shang Chi though when um he he murders uh Scarlet Witch. That was my favorite part of it. Whoa! So hot take. It's a fake fake spoiler. Fake spoiler. <laughs> I'm just fake news. Um, just kidding, guys. All right. Fake In this news. matchup, does Shang Chi have the ten rings? Mm. I would assume so. Because even if he did, I don't think it matters because Neo can dodge bullets. So he could dodge the Ten Rings. Yeah, but but so can so can Shang Chi. Yeah. What does that mean? What do you mean? He can oh, he can Shang dodge Chi has a whole yeah. dragon behind him. I'm like just this saying. is hard. I feel like this is a super even matchup. matchup. Probably more so than any that we've put against. This should be other. the next like versus movie. You know, they've made like Freddy versus Jason. Shang-Chi they've versus made Neo. Godzilla versus King Kong. We should have a Neo versus Shang Chi movie. That should happen. Because I think it would be an excellent fight. 
Does Shang Chi get his dragon? Does he? Have yes, he the protector, the great protector. Yeah, he taps into that. So the would the fight have to be in Tate, whatever Tailow, that place is called? Talo, Talo, Talo. Guys, what's it? That's called? a Pokemon. You're getting close. Is it Talo? No, I, I thought remember. it was Talo. Talo. I think you're right. We're going with that. I don't know. I could be wrong. I I don't know, guys. Like I I really don't know who to pick for this. I feel like it would be so close. Um, well, I haven't seen the Matrix fully yet, so I'm going to go Shang-Chi. <laughs> Neo, he, his weakness is Trinity. She, mm. like, that, I mean, because in, uh, in the Matrix, he is, like, you can either save Trinity or, like, all of humanity, and he chooses Trinity. Um, Shang-Chi doesn't have a love interest, so he's a single man. His eyes on the prize. So I feel like all Shang Chi needs to do is put Trinity. In... Yeah, but would he? Would he what? Would he put what? her in danger or put her in jeopardy in some way so that if Neo was like bad and he had to, mm. he had to yeah, defeat but, him. But that's considered bad too, and I don't feel like Shang Chi would drop down to. What if he was going to Thanos destroy all of humanity? Would I you at least like threaten that... her? Because I would. <laughs> Like no. maybe I wouldn't like murder. I mean, her. he's not a freaking Slytherin, Brit. But some you sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Like if nah, all humanity is at stake, can you? He's not just really throw, I'm confrontation. Just, just threatening, is like holding her over a cliff. You know, I'm not talking uh, about dropping her. Just just he, holding her over. Yeah. He yeah. saves he, an entire bus full of people, Spider Man style. Man, he wouldn't <laughs> actually kill her. Like he would have the dragon come and and catch her. But like he would still be like. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna win this fight. Uh, I don't think that would actually. I don't think that would actually happen. But the point being, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So maybe, okay, maybe Shang Chi doesn't threaten to kill Trinity, but definitely his sister would. Ooh, Cindy. Okay. Has a great point in the chat. He wanted to kill his father because he thought his father was a bad guy. But he didn't. Because, well. I guess I won't say that. I don't want to get too spoilery. And he never actually, like, you know, officially threatened him, did he? Oh, he, like, said it to himself, but he didn't really say it to... Did he say I it? I mean, he like was... Threat? Yeah. Like, he did uh, in his posture, but, like... I mean, he... He, he did fought it. him at the end of the movie. <laughs> he fought, <laughs> I mean, but I think, think it was, was like, a for? putting him in his place kind of thing. Like, I am the dominant one. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Know. Guys, um, all right. in this fight. My, my vote is going to be Shang Chi because I feel like wow. Neo's weakness with Trinity is a really huge one that's very easy to exploit. I'm voting Shang Chi. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm surprised. I for sure thought it was. I mean, like Neo is essentially like a god. When we said that earlier in, in the podcast, he's okay, but they're different universes. And his powers, he does have godlike powers in the Matrix films, but Shang-Chi has comparable powers. We may not call them godlike in MCU because we have gods in MCU, but their powers are, they're pretty comparable. I agree. I agree. I'm going Neo though. I think Neo wins. I think he's going to be like, oh, Shang-Chi comes up with a new fighting style. He's got these crazy rings. I'm just going to download a program and then boom. Hmm. Mm. He's got him. That's true. The internet. Yep. That's true. Mario, where do you lie on this debate? The one Neo, hands down. I feel like really? I, whips his ass. Whips his doesn't even give really? him a chance. Really? Oh, even, doesn't, even, doesn't, even give, doesn't even give him a chance. Neo wow. got him. Yeah, Stoop, you're probably safe to unmute. I'm going to go with what Cindy said, because Cindy said, but if your powers are only in a digital world, they don't really translate to real world context. But in the Matrix 3, there's a scene where he uses his powers outside of the Matrix. Here's the thing, Mike. I haven't seen any of the Matrix's <laughs> end completion. Is that another spoil? Am I just spoiling everything from everybody now? No, they won't. I mean, that. right. Like, will his powers really translate out there? Sort of true. like I can talk to people on the internet, but 
put me mm-hmm. in the grocery store and it's a shit show. <laughs> Nit. I, I avoid yeah. conversation at all costs. Yeah, it's it's safe to come back into the the audio, guys. We we are type it in there, maybe. Uh, you can unmute. Yeah, that was uh, okay. So that Lee, was close. Lee though. is our final vote, though. I think Lee voted Shang Chi. Right? Shang Chi, yeah, because yeah. okay. I have not so seen all. The, I couldn't split. listen. We tried with the Matrix one, and I fell asleep. Hmm. You gotta oh, go back. Mario. Matrix is like such a it's just a classic. Like you've gotta you gotta watch. I gotta do it yeah. like earlier in the day when I'm not, you know, ready for bed. Well, and it's gonna be really cool to see like the matrix, like the new matrix with current technology, technology. Yeah. CGI and stuff. Like yeah. it is tough going back and watching the 1999 matrix. Like it's yeah, the graphics are a little different, kind of like when they put a CD in R2D2, and I'm yeah. like. Look at that no fangle technology. I'm like that is that is a compact disc. <laughs> that, that, that was like we Lee. use those for Pinterest crafts now. That was like me showing her Spider Man two the other night, and she's like, "How ah, this movie looks so stupid." No, <laughs> that's not what I Which said. One? That's not what I said. You're making fun of the movie the whole say, time. You're like I didn't say anything about it looking stupid. Looking stupid. I said that the way that Mary Jane and Peter Parker act together is freaking oh. stupid. That's an agreeable statement from me. Wait, 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 wait. 100%. Hold on, time out. Tom Holland, Spidey, and MJ? No! No, it's just no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Tom Maguire. Spider Man 2, Tobey Maguire. Two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, no, it's, completely agree. I, the whole Mary uh, Jane uh, just makes me want to vomit. In yes. Yeah. Movies. I'm with you. I was like, Agreed. I literally could not take any of that seriously. I was rolling my eyes the whole time. I was like, I. <laughs> <laughs> and I was shocked when we did a rewatch because, like, I had such high. There's a lot of nipples. There's a lot of nipples. Yeah. I'm like, and y'all, a lot of screaming. How many? How much cold water did y'all use in this movie to make sure a lot of that screaming. we could, We had to make sure we could see her nipples throughout the entire movie. Man, yep. Such was the night. And her voice, <laughs> like, she doesn't show any emotion whatsoever. Oh she just acts super sultry the whole time. She's like, "Oh, Peter." Like, like, what are you- <laughs> oh peter like, i can't do anything okay, for peter. myself oh my god please that's save so me let's make uh let's oh, make out upside down hold on spider-man one go spider-man one go do that again spider-man one help me all right here comes spider-man two it's gonna be a little different maybe no it's not okay do it again i'm moving to new york all right now spider-man <laughs> three but i still can't get over you then throw in venom and then that's that's the trilogy Come on, man. Oh, don't forget the cringy walk, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to have. Look, I'm bashing on that. I love those movies, but they definitely were not what I remembered uh, when I went nope. back and watched them again. I yeah. do love her red hair, too, Steph, in chat. Cheesy um, age. That is, that is the only redeeming thing <laughs> Cindy, about it. Cindy, we're off the Cindy's rails. getting this us episode, back on track. <laughs> we, we've we got an agenda, but this is good. This is going to be one of those episodes. We're going to yeah, be all over the place. Not- <laughs> yes. We're just here to entertain you guys. So if we are being entertaining, then we're doing our jobs. True. Uh, True. Anyways. Moving, anyway. Yeah. Moving, <laughs> With the nipples. <laughs> uh, that's how very Jane is like, oh. There's Mary Jane. Oh, yeah. Help me, help me. Help. I love those movies. And you know what? Hot take. Spider Man 3, the first half, not that bad. Anyways. Not that bad. I'm actually, I'm going to stop it right there. I didn't hate Spider Man. I didn't, I, like, on the rewatch, the second I didn't half. I hate it as much as I thought I is remember rough. hating it. Uh, like, yeah. th- this could be an episode. But, like, the, the second half, it's rough. But I rewatched Spider Man 3, and I was like, you know what? This movie's not bad. This movie's they not that to bad. Do too much, too fast. That right. was the problem. Yeah, like they, if you if too you, much stuff going on in the last you know half. fix that movie, like really, like <laughs> if you save Venom for like Spider Man Four, if they plan on doing it, that'd be great. Like you know, you need to build that character. I feel, but like having Sandman there was great. Uh, having Harry, the thing you built for three movies was Harry Osborn, mm-hmm. and now you made him Goblin, and it's like, oh, this is great. Like, this is a great thing. And then, boom, he got an Asian. He's like rediscovering cotton candy and like how life is now. And he's like, whoa, man, this is crazy. <laughs> this pie you know is delicious. We, you know what we should do for our tangents is we should get one of those timers that they have at debates, you know, where each oh, side yes. gets we like a, a certain, certain amount, amount of seconds. And, and we yeah. should put that up on the screen and be like, 
Yep. Oh, is Your that chart. a Slughorn yeah. um, hourglass? <laughs> yeah, I want the big one. Yeah, Lee got this for me at the Harry Potter store, a little tiny keychain. That's cute. I, I like that. Yeah, I want the big one. Anyways, <laughs> before we get off on to yes, yeah, Spider-Man 3 is not a bad movie. You heard it here first. Sun, it's on record now. Don't at me, bro. Anyways, for another speaking of Harry Potter, uh, we're going on to another fun, uh, another fun segment <laughs> of what uh, a transition. Hey man, let me let me transition. Huh? You guys are you guys are flattening my tires here. Uh, yeah, you guys ever wonder about these great <laughs> Phantom characters in these movies, <laughs> like Spider Man Three? Uh, all these uh, fantastic characters, those great characters. Yeah, you wonder you wonder uh, what what house would they be in if they were going to Hogwarts? Would they be in Gryffindor, <laughs> Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff? Who knows? But let's find out together on this little segment. We like to call the Sorting Hat. The sorting Hat. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we're killing it. Anyways, we take two characters. We're taking two characters today to sort them into their proper <laughs> houses. It's what's funny. Jesus Christ! <laughs> we can't stop, man. I'm sorry. You guys, you guys are still I laughing think this about Spider-Man Three. This is what happens 3. when a mental break happens. Like everyone yeah. just starts dying in the middle of podcast. Uh, okay, I, I've, I've been here. Okay, <laughs> you've been. You're the only one on track tonight. I guess okay. so. Okay. All right. The two, the two that we are sorting this week are. Hawkeye and and more. I almost said Mobius and Morpheus. I, I, I honestly, Dude, I who the too, hell? Yeah. Who's Morpheus again? Leah. Oh my God! Yes. You've got the okay. background up right now. You, know the you pill, can't say that with that background. Red pill, blue pill. That guy. Like that's Guys, like iconic. He's the I guy holding the pill. Know. I haven't even gotten to that part of the movie yet. It's the beginning of the movie. It's like the first like half hour of the movie. I haven't been introduced to him. Or when I go to the yet. apartment, he's at the window. He's all like, I know about anything. is Neo, and he's a hacker right now. That's all I know. <laughs> Anyways. And that one girl, that well, one time. Well, all right, well, you know Hawkeye. We're going to go, do, we'll do Hawkeye yeah, first. We'll kinda. do Hawkeye. So we've, we've picked these two uh, individuals for this one because, uh, of course, Matrix is in the news, and we've got a Hawkeye trailer uh, to talk about a little bit later. So what house hey. would Hawkeye be in? Have we not talked about Hawkeye before? We've I talked. Like, I don't think we officially sorted him. I think we, we, we didn't officially him. sort him because I feel like we've talked about his qualities before. But I think when yeah. we, I think he came up when we were talking about Black Widow, where the house she would be in. Probably. <clears throat> but yeah, Hawkeye, I feel like is the most like he's like the for me anyway. I feel I tend to have a wrong opinion in, in these conversations. I feel like after I end up hearing everybody's arguments, but mm -hmm. when I initially think about it and I see the poster of Hufflepuff, I see Hawkeye on it. Yeah, I was thinking like, that, but he he had one little slip up where he went a little bit crazy as Ronan and like started killing some people. Probably not a a, a normal. That was probably like a little blip on his. He well, he lost traits. his whole family. Right. Like yeah. I and would that's murder his... some people. You would murder some. I people would murder. Family, I would turn right? into Ronan and start shooting some bows and the thing that shoots out of it. Yeah. See, I saved it for you guys. Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right. But no, I I think I see Hufflepuff all day, for sure. I, I, I could can, see I could see Hufflepuff or, or Gryffindor. I I think I, I would see a Gryffindor. I would lean I towards Hufflepuff. I think I'm thinking Hufflepuff. Gryffindor, but maybe. Here, but okay, so but judging by this trailer that we just saw for his show, that's where I'm going. Maybe towards Gryffindor because while he's a Hufflepuff and he's trying his best to get home for the holidays, like the fact of the matter is he's not there for it seems like i don't know if he makes it home for christmas but he's definitely not there for the majority of the holiday season and keeps like making promises so i'm a little concerned about that he's and a hard working that... individual it's a hufflepuff <laughs> okay. trait it's a hufflepuff trait he's hard working he's got but he's, he's got also okay fine 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 perform. yes all right you have you've convinced me mike he's a hufflepuff hey, I, I, think, I think i think you do have an argument for Gryffindor I can no and I will yeah I do I could see Gryffindor like if he 
was straddling between two houses. I could see Gryffindor. I saw Slytherin in the chat. I don't I don't know about that. I don't but. I don't see yeah, Slytherin at all. I don't see Slytherin. But he's so like I just think of his loyalty to like uh to the Avengers, to uh Nick Fury. Like I I see all of I see the loyalty, but he 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 is super crazy. I mean he like think of him in Age of Ultron where he's like hey this is totally crazy and screwed up i'm completely out man i'm fighting aliens with a bow and arrow that feels very gryffindor to you me you said it mm -hmm. oh i dodged it, it and you didn't dang it i sure There's did one everybody in the chat make sure you keep up that's one and you said it word. wouldn't I happen almost, i almost just said it I like um, saying you said it i would i would put him in gryffindor oh okay Hmm. Okay. I'm voting Hufflepuff. Yeah, I can I can see oh, dang it, Brit. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Hufflepuff. I, I can totally see Gryffindor too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, go I'm gonna go Hufflepuff. Civil War. What side was he on? Oh, Did he gosh, break the I rules? knew you were gonna bring this up? He was Did on he Iron Man's side. On... Did he end up in the raft? You in no, the, the prison, or was he on Iron Man's side? No, no, I think no. he, he was, was in the, on. He was, an Iron he was in the side. prison, Iron wasn't he? He was on. I'm oh. sorry. Hold on. I thought he, he was fought. in the prison. He, he might, was. He yeah, might, so yeah. he was on Cap's side because okay. he fought Black Widow. He's Black a Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor. I think he's a Gryffindor. And his loyalty to Nat, he didn't keep his loyalty to Nat in Civil War. Son of a gun! Oh, maybe he's Gryffindor. I think he's a Gryffindor, guys. That's where I would put him. Wow. But what does he value the most? Do you Man, think he values his family. his family and his hard work? Like he being hardworking. He values hard work. He values loyalty. I feel, right? So do like I feel like he values loyalty and all of the things that a Hufflepuff stands for more than he values courage like what does he look for okay. in other people <laughs> like but actions speak louder than words how often was he with his family instead of going off and being courageous and brave and fighting monsters but, aliens and witches but Not that often but when you're a hufflepuff and your loyalties are split which do you choose your wife in case there's a question, you pick your wife. <laughs> Woo! But you if it's life or if it's if Mike worked in a life or death scenario that only he could do, right? Mm. Like, okay, here's the problem: he wasn't strong. He had his powers sucked. Oh, he is easily yeah. the weakest. The Avengers did not need Hawkeye. Yeah, they did. They needed a ranger. Was, they didn't have any ranger. He was the heart of the team. They have Captain Marvel. True. He wasn't the heart of the team. Either. Yeah, but Captain Marvel is only there in emergency. She's too OP. <laughs> All right, Mario, where are you at? You've been quiet this whole time. I'm, st I'm still locked in with Hufflepuff, I feel. Hufflepuff. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with Hufflepuff as well, I think. But I can totally see Gryffindor-like tendencies. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I, I'm going to go with Griff Hufflepuff. Sticking Gryffindor. Okay. Right. Ooh, Boom. Hufflepuff it is. My gracious. All right, next one is, let's see, Lee, if you see the picture, maybe you'll know who he is. Probably not. I mean, <laughs> I know who he is. I just, I don't know anything about him, so. Uh, wrong one. All right. Like, here's what I'll tell That's you about Neo. Morpheus. He is kind of like a leader. He's very courageous. He's intense. <laughs> But he is not there to like lift himself up. He believes that Neo is like the one. He's, I don't know, he's kind of like a Nick Fury to me. But so like Crab and Goyle don't think that they're the best either, but they lift mm. like Draco up because that's true. He can get ahead. So he's kind of a, uh, smart slick kind of guy i would say maybe like i would say maybe gryffindor but also 
I think Steph just said it in the chat. Uh, a little bit of Ravenclaw, maybe. You think mm. so? You don't think he's a Slytherin? I don't know. I saw Slytherin at one point, but I, I, I'm, yeah. I've, me I mean, personally. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like you don't have really a hat in a ring here, but like, yeah, I'm thinking maybe like a Ravenclaw, kind of like a more like I don't know, because we, cause we then we talked about. I'm trying to think. Cause I always get I always get the traits mixed up between all the houses, between Gryffindor and whatnot. Gryffindor so. and Slytherin have so me- much overlap, but I think the big thing that that um, separates them is their like their why, yeah, their intentions. That they they look a lot alike, but is it is it do what they need to? Are they to- cunning or or is it like greater good type? mentality but slither and slytherin will also do like anything to get ahead like anything cheat whatever like gryffindors i feel are a little more noble in the way that they go about things so you know like you will work toward a you know a certain end but you won't like necessarily cheat your way there if that makes sense I the only two that I could see him being in would be Gryffindor and maybe Ravenclaw. Maybe. Maybe Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking Ravenclaw, maybe Gryffindor. (laughs) No. Okay. Well, at least we're like kind of in the same in the same space. I kind of view him as like the Gandalf of the group. Okay, and I would put I would put Gandalf and Ravenclaw. Where he he's just he knows like he has the information. Like all of the questions that get asked get answered by Morpheus throughout the movie. Like he's the one that has kind of orchestrated a lot of the stuff. Like, he obviously is has built up the knowledge to be able to right, but he also is role. like the courageous leader of this like rebellion against the I was just gonna ask things. that. So and he's so, kind of like, like the Leia. Yeah, yeah. Like the general of the rebellion sort of thing. Or the, like. or the Gandalf, yeah. I don't okay. know. Okay. I'm split on this one too. I didn't think I, I thought I was just going to be like Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. But the more we talk about it, the more confused I get. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel pretty strong about these coming in. And then we talk and I'm like, son of a gun. Son of a I bitch. think I'm going to stick with, with Ravenclaw for Morpheus, though. I think that Agreed. that was my initial gut feeling. But just like with Hawkeye, I can see him dipping into Gryffindor traits as well. In the water. Yeah. Okay. What say the three of you? I'm saying I'm gonna, Ravenclaw. I think I'm going to vote Gryffindor. Lee? I'm having a real hard time with this one, you guys. Because I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really get a feel for him. But I feel like all you know is like what we've told you. Yeah. Um, I could see just from like the, like the, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've got five seconds to choose. Five. I'm gonna go Gryffindor. Four. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Because okay. I think it takes a lot of courage to run a rebellion faction. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where I was kind of leaning with that argument too. It's tough. Hey, so. you, you guys you guys want you guys want to play a game? Sure. What game are we gonna play? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh god. In this uh nerdy spin on the classic game of a guess who, one host picks a character from the nerdy realms and the rest of us take turns asking yes or no questions to discover their hidden identity. Ooh. Ooh, I could really trip you guys up this week. I have one, but thank goodness. Let's see who, who's playing today. It's oh, sorry, I thought we it's... had a drop going. Did I miss the drop? Oh, sorry. This is called Guess Who. It's <laughs> 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 the Snoop Dogg. Yeah, there it is. Uh... Who? Who? All right. Ooh. This is Guess Who. I think today we have Mike and Lee playing, so hopefully Lee can focus yeah. enough to uh, get through this game. Uh, <laughs> gotta wish her, wish her luck, everybody. Uh, so let's start with Mike. Mike, you have a character selected in your mind. I, I do have a character selected in my mind right now, and it's ready. Okay, <laughs> Mario, take the first question. All right. Uh, the classic question, uh, is this a Marvel character? Of course. Of course. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, is this, was this person um, on, well, that's not a good question. Has this person been in one of the MCU TV shows? Yes. Uh, dang it. Easy peasy. And there is a down pretty good. Wait, is it a yes? Yes, it was mm -hmm. a yes. It's okay. Is it a female? Yes. All right. Now <laughs> we're getting somewhere. All right. Was this was this female in uh, Loki? Mm, no. No Loki. Mm, okay. Does this person um really into the color red? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a good question. Though. Not Scarlet Witch. Okie dokie. <laughs> It's a creative was, way to ask that. Was this person in WandaVision? Oh, WandaVision. Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, was, was this person outside of Wanda's force field? Ooh, outside the hex. So the hex? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, for most of the show, uh, yes. Can I make a guess? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is it Darcy? It was Darcy. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy darling, dear. I saw some Darcy's in the chat. Yep. Like, way before us. Good way job. before us. All right, Lee. Good Lady. job, chat. All right, mine might throw you for a loop, y'all. I'm just saying. Oh no. Okay. I Mike, throw you for a loop. First. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, is this person from Harry Potter? No. Oh, okay. No, Harry Potter. Uh, let's see. Is this person a Disney in the Disney realms? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, now you, now you would, that out. Like, now you would think anything. that would narrow this down, but <laughs> so now it could be Marvel, Star Wars, or any of the princesses. All right, we asked Harry Potter, we asked Disney, we asked um um is this a classic Disney character? Define classic Disney because like like nine like, a, like 90s classic, and before like before before Disney took everything away from us, like Star Wars and Marvel, like uh, Disney. Before the giant mergers of like, all of the like Walt Disney's kingdoms. stuff, y'all are gonna make me Google this. Uh, oh my god! Oh, oh man! I, bet, I don't I bet, no, I bet I'm gonna say Disney no. Pixar. All right, I'm gonna say no. All right, what I, was the question again? <laughs> is this a, was it, it classic Disney? Was it classic Disney? Okay, no, okay, like Snow uh, White, so you're Cinderella. saying pre Pixar? Is that what you're like saying? Like Snow White, Cinderella, uh, the, okay, so pre Pixar, Beauty and the Beast, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, then yeah, no. Then no, okay. Totally Pixar. Is it a Pixar character? <laughs> yes. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Is this person a human? No. Hmm. No uh, human. Is this character a vehicle? No. Oh, that's where I was going. Right, like cars. Yeah, I was thinking cars. Is this person a Mobius variant? <laughs> is is this person a toy? No. Ah, never. No. So it's got to be an animal then, an animal or a robot. Those are our only options at this point. <laughs> was Wally Pixar? Yeah, Wally was Pixar. Oh, so you should ask that. If is it a robot? Is oh or a Oh, a fish is an animal. God, I get dumber every day. Does this person live in the ocean? Yes. Oh, there it is. Here we go. But wait. <laughs> hey, can we run back the questions again? Did we ask if it was Pixar. an animal? Okay, it's not Harry Potter. Right. It is in the Disney world. It is Pixar. It is not human, not a car, not a toy, and lives in the ocean. Okay, so it's definitely an animal. Um, that's a good guess, Mario. 
Um, gills. Make gills. Sure. You look like that. Okay, this could be so Pixar. So okay, is this is this from Nemo? Yes. The Nemo worlds. Okay, so Nemo we know it's from one of the Nemos. The Mike. The way that she answered that makes me want to ask this question because Mario didn't ask it. Is your character Nemo? No. Dang it. Oh, I thought we caught, caught a loophole there. Nemo. Is this person... Does this person have eight legs? No. <laughs> Damn. Not, not Hank the octopus guy. Uh, it's a good guess. Uh, good guess. Good guess. Oh, is, is, this, is this character voiced by a female? Uh, yes. Okay. I should, I thought of something afterwards that I should have actually gone with, but yes. <laughs> she was thinking about changing it. So it, it, <laughs> I'm going to guess, is it, is it Dory? Yes. Uh, I should have gone with Gerald though. That's what I'm I, really say. I, with I, Gerald. I thought you were going to go Gerald, but Gerald didn't really have a voice. Uh, yeah. Again, chat beat us to it yeah. by a lot. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. They are so good in that chat. Too good. Guys. They are good. All right, guys. Well, each week we scour the headlines in the nerd verse and bring you the best of the best. Move over, J. Jonah Jameson. It's time for friggin' nerd news. All righty. What do we got on the friggin' nerd? Nord friggin today. Nord. Friggin Nord, 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 Nord board. board. The Nord board. Nord board. Well, one of the big headlines that happened since the last podcast is they dropped the Matrix 4 trailer officially for everybody to see. Uh, they <laughs> did, you know, show this uh, at uh, one of the movie conventions a couple weeks ago. I forgot CinemaCon or something like that um, for the people there to see it. But then they dropped it for us last week, late last week. Um, now, before we dive into this trailer, this will be helpful. For uh, really. We're going to do a real okay. quick just recap of kind of what you need to remember from The Matrix because it was like the first movie was 99. So, like, that was a long time ago. We, I wasn't I even was in eight high years school old. Yet. I was yeah. in eighth grade. <laughs> so, real quick recap of what we need to know about The Matrix trilogy. Um, uh, the very first movie, Matrix has shown the, or I'm sorry, Neo has shown the truth about the Matrix. Uh, and that truth is there is a giant war between the machines and the humans. And the humans blacked out the sky uh, in an attempt to cut out the power supply for the machines. But what that really did is that just gave them an alter alternate way to get power because they decided to start harvesting humans for their energy and so the, the machine started uh turning humans into their own batteries which is kind of creepy and the way that they do this is they get you in a pod they plug you in and they pacify your mind with the matrix and keep you happy while they drain your poor soul right out of your body um, wow yes very, very sad. Um, now, at the very beginning of this movie, evidently before uh, this has happened, I guess a little bit after Lee had fallen asleep, uh, <laughs> Neo is introduced to Morpheus, who allows him to see this truth. And Morpheus believes that Neo is the one. He is the, the, the prophecy to come um, uh, basically end the current war that they're in uh, in this movie. Um, but basically, uh, the one is the first person to free the humans from the machines. And there's actually been five other the ones uh, before Neo or five other Neos before this, this Keanu Reeves Neo that we're seeing in this movie now. Um, but this one specifically is going to be one to end the current war that they're in now with the machines. Uh, that was pretty much the first movie. Then we get into the second and third movie, and basically it's a ton of incredibly confusing plot points that lead to the end of the trilogy where Neo uh, works out a deal with the machines for peace between the machines and humans. Uh, a couple key notes from this, though. Uh, Trinity, uh, these are spoilers for a movie that's like, 
15 years old. So These hopefully, yeah, uh, Trinity dies in this movie. Trinity dies and Neo gets, gets absorbed into the Matrix. And so like they are technically dead at the end of this movie, dead, dead. Um, and so what's interesting in this trailer is they're back. I would not say that Neo was dead. Yeah, he was but absorbed. He, yeah. Uh, but Trinity was dead. Yep. Uh, so then we get this trailer. So we we finally get the trailer. That kind of catches you up on kind of what happened in the trilogy. The first movie is insanely great. The second, the last two are just I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that happens. It has really cool fight scenes and stuff in it that definitely fun to see. But the plot is so confusing. Uh, but essentially that happens and now we are uh, introduced to this movie Britt and do you want to start talking about oh. this trailer oh we're just gonna throw it to me. I'm gonna throw it to you okay look if there's any fans listening to this that are like hardcore matrix fans this is gonna be embarrassing because I haven't seen this since I was like in high school um here's here's what I basically gleamed from the trailer you kind of have the trailer set up in two halves a blue half and a red half so like the first kind of halfish of the trailer neo is like back in the matrix and you see a lot of blue like the lighting is really blue he's back in the matrix as thomas he he does not remember like right what he did previously so if i understand mario maybe you can help me here he was he was not like the first savior he was not the first the one that's confusing he was like the sixth one right so were all of those other saviors previous versions of neo i think so i think that yeah wasn't that like a which one which movie did we see the architect then that was the second one yeah and so in that scene when he's talking about the previous saviors, Neo is on the wall multiple times. Right. And so I'm assuming, we're assuming that that means that he was, this is like the sixth version of so Neo. So then I'm assuming that in the new movie, this is like the newest iteration of, of Neo. Neo the savior. Which makes, right. So that, that makes sense. sense. But he doesn't remember where he is and all that stuff he's still stuck in the matrix and like the the blue hues and stuff of the first half of that trailer kind of tell us that um neil patrick harris is his psychiatrist mm -hmm. which is super cool um and he uh when they show him like talking to neil patrick harris he has like blue glasses he has a blue sweater you can even see in the background um there's a shot mario i put in there of like a cat on a desk um, there's like a, a red butterfly and a blue butterfly in the back. Um, so there's like all these subtle hints that like, oh, what's mm. happening here? Just like the red pill, blue pill. And that cat is actually the deja vu cat from the first, uh, the movie, first yeah. movie. Um, yeah, so it's all the, basically the first half of this trailer is deja vu. He's trying to figure out who he is. Um, then we do, we get a scene where he like, it's like having one of those like, real intimate handholds you know like oh yeah do i remember you oh, type do old. i know you yeah with trinity so we're like whoa she's back um and then we get the pills again from i don't know if it's either a younger morpheus or if it's like a different like a reincarnation of morpheus i don't know but he gives him the pills and the trailer becomes like very like warm tones for the rest of the time because he's he's waking up and he gets his powers back and all that fun stuff so um the only thing that i was questioning there's one we all have to be like okay keanu reeves he looks good y'all he's almost 60 years old 60 That's and crazy. he looks he looks good he does he not age friend. but he doesn't look like 1999 Keanu Reeves and they're obviously like not doing the de-aging um stuff on him so it's like why is he why how are they going to explain why he looks older but there is a shot where he's like looking in the mirror and he looks older for a minute it like morphs into then his young face mm -hmm. my my theory is that maybe on the outside of the matrix like in real life he has aged 
but they've continued to like keep him young within the matrix and because they've like okay keep resetting him like this is like the the Keanu like 60 year old Keanu Reeves that's like what he would look like if he had aged normally yeah maybe like within the matrix I don't know that's all I got I don't know why else I I'm a little bit like I'm wondering what they're doing like it's great if this is like if they are rebooting the matrix then that's awesome but they're um, not but they're not they're taking they're continuing the story and so i'm trying i'm wondering what they're doing james i think this is the seventh version of the one he's asking if yeah if this is so in the first in the trilogy yeah, he was the sixth version so i think this one would be the seventh that's what i would assume yeah so um but i am excited because i like the matrix it, the matrix is iconic oh yeah um it was like the first toe in the pool of sci-fi um but it's really cool that we're gonna get to see like this whole i said this earlier the whole like matrix universe but yeah. with current cgi and technology and stuff so i'm pretty and the, the trailer's beautiful it's coming out on right around the holidays like there's so many things happening in december this year november and december it's going to be like very busy with yep. movies y'all so and this this is actually going to be available on hbo max as well as the theaters so what's our plan are we going to the theater for this right after we see spidey yeah i'm i want to i would yeah, I like too. to see matrix on big screen yeah this is a theater movie yeah absolutely yep 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 so we're we're pumped. We're excited. We'll we're, I'm sure we're gonna get a couple more trailers before it comes out uh, in December. But um, speaking jazz- of I guess, December, I guess I have a yeah. deadline, huh? Yes. I'm gonna rewatch all of them too, Lee, because yeah. like there's I can't hardly remember anything from the Matrix. Maybe we can um, do a movie night in the Discord. Yeah, yeah. we totally need to because I I have so much that I wouldn't understand. Like I feel like I won't appreciate the new movie unless I go back and I watch. The new ones. I told Mike too, like back when I had first watched, like my family is not into sci-fi and stuff. So that was kind of like the first sci-fi anything I'd seen. And I didn't understand a lot about how like sci-fi universes worked. I know a lot more now. So I feel like I can understand it a lot better than I would have back then. Yeah. Well, yeah. When I was watching the recap, I'll put a, a link in our discord for a quick six minute right. trilogy recap. Uh, cause it like the first, lot. the first half I'm like, oh yeah. And then they get into the second and the third movie and I'm like, what, <laughs> what are they even trying to tell me? It's like, how did I like this movie as a, as a teen, a little nerd right? guy who didn't like, know much. My only this is like exposure to science fiction at that point was smart house yeah. on made for Disney movies. <laughs> this, was, this was before lost hit our life. So like. This right. was insane. Yep. So, anyways, but speaking of Christmas, just one more thing that we have going on. We got our first look at Hawkeye as well. Yes, we did. So right. this 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 actually like this I, I know a little bit more about. I was not expecting this the theme on this trailer though. Like I knew it was coming around like the Christmas. It like, reminded time. me of um shoot, y'all die hard. Die hard. You know, it's like the Christmas action yeah. movie yeah. Yeah. thing. Okay, so um, I do know more about this because it's MCU. I don't know a ton about Hawkeye, like comics Hawkeye. Y'all know I'm not into like that type of character, but it's MCU. Oh. So we'll bring him into the fall. Oh, the books are okay. so much fun. It's so much fun. So I'm excited. The books? The, the Hawkeye books are a lot of fun. So like from, from what I saw in the trailer, it, and I know you put an image in here as well about one one book in particular, the way it's going, this is going to be great. Like this is going to oh, save nice. Hawkeye for people. But would I like it? I think. Like, would I like those comics? She doesn't like Cap. Remember, she doesn't like Cap. That's, that's doesn't right. Like Bucky. I, it's not that I, I don't like them. They're just, you, you just prefer, boring You to prefer me. the like more supernatural yeah. Like I like my cosmic. superheroes to be like not realistic. Yeah, I would give I would give, like, I would give it a chance. Shooting a bow. I I, I would I would I would definitely give him a chance and like it'll definitely prep you for the show I think and like it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be like the same effect with Bucky with you you know what I mean like it's gonna it's gonna turn your face maybe and maybe what, he's you know, gonna like, bring a cake 
Maybe he'll come <laughs> he with a Walmart with cake. cake and everything. He, he, might, he might bring fruit cake if it's Christmas. You never know. It yep. could happen. All right. Let's talk, first of all, where does this show sit in the timeline? So we have this handy dandy timeline, thanks to Eric Voss at New Rock Stars. Mm. Um, okay. So Hawkeye is going to be the first December, the first Christmas following end game so this is just going to be like a little bit after wandavision and all that stuff happened but it's going to be before uh falcon and the winter soldier interesting so it's after wanda Mm -hmm. okay after wanda before falcon um and before spider-man far from home right not even just no way home but far from home Makes Correct. sense. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay. Super. So um, this is based, yes, Mario, on the comic Hawkeye. Exciting title there. <laughs> uh, by Matt Fraction. I did read a lot of good stuff about it. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'll try it out. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Um, but the whole, the whole story and everything is pulled straight from uh, this Fraction comic. Um, it even has the same logo. The, oh, that's the cool. Hawkeye show is the same logo as the Fraction interesting comics. Yeah. Okay. Um, question in the trailer. So y'all, y'all see him, you know, at like a family dinner with his kids, and they're like, "This is our first, you know, family dinner in years because they're they were snapped. His whole family was snapped. Where's Laura, his wife? Where's she be? Oh, snap! Yeah, she's not there. She ain't there holding hands with the fam. Did they split up, guys? There's some drama in the Hawkeye house. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm wonder, I'm wondering if the whole Ronan thing kind of got back to her. Like, you know, when she shows back up after the blip, she's like, you did what for the last yeah. like year or so? Maybe that kind of turns her off, scares her away because she's definitely, I think in the, I think we see a glimpse of her in the trailer somewhere. So I we, think she's we still hear around. Him on the phone with her mm. and he does call her babe, but maybe they're like going through like a separation they're not like divorced yet because she's like i don't know about this ronin thing you have going on yeah i need to think about this and figure out if i could handle that you like murder people. i didn't i didn't notice that she wasn't in the trailer though. that's a good catch didn't yeah. even think about that was the first thing i noticed Man. i don't know hmm. what that says about like our relationship i was trying okay. <laughs> to figure out i think you may bring this up i was trying to figure out the the girl in the towards the beginning that he was talking to if that was his daughter or if that was kate bishop, kate bishop. Yeah, yeah that was his daughter gotcha yeah his daughter looks younger than kate bishop right we'll, we'll get into that in a minute um the other really cool thing that was awesome is like the hamilton inspired musical which is rogers the musical yes like so cool guys and it looks like the hamilton um poster art and all that stuff um just a question though is it possible now that we know that it was um, a little bit before Falcon and that's oh. when they were bringing in Crap Cap, is it possible that the government sponsored this musical to kind of um, like get like uh, Rogers into the hearts of America Interesting. before they introduced Crap Cap Crap to Cap. America? Yeah, because that was right before, right? Yeah, little government. They're well, in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting a little spin on it. It's maybe, crazy. Maybe it's that, that 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 is interesting. Because what was it again? Let me look back at the timeline. How long ago was this before? Falcon was April. December, and, and yeah. this one was December. Yeah, so it's it, a few months. Yeah, interesting. So yeah, maybe this and was the like musical probably runs for a few months. So depends on if it's like Tony worthy. Yeah. If so, it goes for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, a really fun theory, though, on the interwebs. So we've heard, correct me if I'm wrong, that Chris Evans is going to have some sort of guest appearance in one of these shows. Am I making that up? I thought you No, I do, I do remember. Yeah, that was like way back. That was like before Wanda came out. And we, haven't, was... and we haven't seen it yet. Right. So people think if you go to the next image, Mario, there is a shot from the musical um rogers the musical he's it's definitely not cap but they think that thor looks a whole lot like chris evans what could it be that this is the starring role that we were promised that chris evans is playing thor <laughs> 
Dude, I don't know. I mean, it does look a lot like my, it, he's got the arms, you know. My main question is, are we sure of where is Loki? Because wasn't that Matt Damon? Loki what? is it? Uh, no, that's not Matt Damon. But he has like a top Dang. hat and stuff on. A top hat with horns. With Loki are we sure it's it. not the girl that's next to him? Like girl variant Loki? That oh, is um, like Sylvie. That is. Uh, I think she's talking about here. Oh yeah. no, it, it's a dude. But the other green one is supposed to be Hulk. Oh, it's like, like it's, it's like hipster hole. It's like a he green, has like a green hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> who's this like girl? It. Oh, who's this person though? That's next to Thor. Is that not that, Loki? That's um, that's that's Loki. Oh, okay. Just dude look with like a top, a top hat, and then Ant Man. I think I cut the picture off, but Ant Man's like off to the side nice. by Thor because he has like a pim, a pim logo shirt yeah. on or whatever. So, anyways, this is pretty funny. Um, so maybe that's Chris Evans. Maybe musical Thor is Chris Evans. And who's the guy with the white coat on? Um, so that one they think is oh y'all, I I'm not a Captain America. Doctor Erskine. That- oh, this is probably telling his story. And they sense. think the that other one that has the I love New York shirt on is Tony or um Howard, Howard Stark. Howard Stark, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. Right? Like yeah. so it's like hipster Howard. I like it. Okay. Um that's all the fun stuff. Let's talk about new characters that we're going to meet in Hawkeye. Um, the first one we've been... Uh, oh, wait. You have a question? This is, I think they're recreating the Battle of New York here. Yeah, they, they are. Like, yeah, I see all the, like, the what, what are those enemies called? The Chitauris, whatever. The Chitauri, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so I mean, these... there was never a situation where all of these Avengers were ever together yeah. on screen, but it's a musical. Heck, that's it's Hawkeye right for there. for America's hearts. Yeah, yeah so. there's Hawkeye up on the yeah. top, I think. Because Ant Man wouldn't have been there. Loki. Loki would, was the bad uh, guy. He was the bad he guy. Was He's the guy like not yeah. on the crew there. But yeah, it's supposed to be the Battle of New York. <laughs> Interesting. I, I'd go to that musical. Same. I'd go. Sign me up. Um, okay, new characters. We have known that this one's coming. We've got Kate Bishop. Um, so, like Mario was talking about, uh, you know, Clint, he went through a dark period as ronan the assassin vigilante it was a weird time for him it was a a dark time in his life he got a lot of black on um (laughs) so we see in the beginning of the trailer that somebody else has taken up the mantle of like ronan like they've got the same Mm -hmm. outfit because apparently if you wear a black hood and carry a bow you're ronan um so he goes to find out who that was and kate bishop has taken up uh the the ronin vigilante yeah uh, mantle um kate bishop is part of the young avengers so this whole show is probably going to follow him training kate to you know yeah we've had we've had a lot of hints at young avengers there's a lot of these it's coming it'll probably be like phase five but they're definitely coming yep yep they're coming okay so kate bishop um two this is quite the name the he to say it and be serious. The tracksuit Draculas. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This is a Russian mafia gang that really loves um, to use the word bro. Bro. Right. Yeah. Yo, I can't bro. Even make this stuff up. This is an MCU now. So they dress like they came out of a 1998 uh, MTV what? Uh, music video and they use words like our teenage son does now. Wait, is this is this like canon to Marvel Comics? Yes, is there... this is straight out of the the Fraction Hawkeye comics. <laughs> and yes, they and they say bro in the yeah, comics. Yeah, look, too? there they are, bro. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh bro. man. <laughs> that would be um though a really easy Halloween costume, guys. You just need an Adidas Yo, yeah. uh tracksuit. I could fit in <laughs> And with you this too group. can be a tracksuit Dracula. There we go. I can say bro too much, so I can totally fit in this group. I say I say um, brother they, too much. <laughs> brother yeah, you would stick out they'd be like whoa whoa what did you just say <laughs> slow down they don't say brother here it's bro um they are connected to kingpin which will be oh. important here in a minute um and just another fun uh little track tracksuit trivia for you um we also saw a tracksuit wearing scroll in the background of loki earlier oh, in the did. year 
And then of course, not in a track suit, but we had a squirrel that was at the end of WandaVision who yeah. was recruiting uh, Monica Rambo. So it's very likely all of these uh, things are just Good setting time. up the next things and secret invasion yeah. is on the horizon. So um, maybe we have a track suit scroll uh track suit dracula yo i'm down <laughs> that that's good that that could be how they introduce blade blade could then pop up and Ooh. be like yo in a track suit <laughs> yes <laughs> <In a track. laughs> yeah, he's trying to like infiltrate the 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 bro group and so he's he's got to wear the track suit and bro. Say bro but... blah 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 <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine dracula being in this bro it's a brawl blah 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 <laughs> dear god this is the kind of content you get here that's right oh key doki so um then we have jack oh, jack duquesne i think is how you say his name um also known as the swordsman um he was like a carnival performer and a criminal he trained clint back when clint was young mm. back in his in his younger years um but in the show he may be a colleague to Kate Bishop's mom, Eleanor Bishop. Oh. Okay. Um, so here's the thing though. A lot of people think that Eleanor Bishop is actually going to be the villain of the show. What? And that they're setting her up to be somebody called Madam Mask. Hmm. Madam Mask. Here's the fun thing. And the more I watched the trailer, the more this made sense. So Madam Mask in the comics, um, she she like sets up this auction. I'm not going to go into all of it, but basically she's auctioning something off that is going to expose Clint Barton, um, his identity for killing like a dictator. Um, and remember like during his like a uh, dark period, he went and it killed a lot of people, yeah. like some big people too. Um, so anyway, so in the comic she does this um, and one of the big bidders for this was Kingpin. Okay. So um later in the trailer though like this trailer we actually see an auction taking place in like a like a wine cellar or oh something. interesting so mm -hmm, very interesting so it could be that uh that is happening um yes we do have uh kingpin he's been rumored to be in this um of course kingpin is another netflix uh marvel character that could now be mcu canon um and the rumor well, i've heard is say... that it will be that yeah live version of him just like matt murdoch he's another rumored netflix person that's being brought over right yeah like matt because there's we still haven't seen that that first netflix character yet like it's it's once it happens like once we have if this king if kingpin is the first one in this show boom daredevil's coming y'all okay but think this through spider-man is going to be dropping in the middle of this show so what if they introduce Kingpin and like early in the show and oh, then we and all then go he... see Spidey and that's how they get us ready for Matt Murdock. Interesting. Mm. I like this. Can that be fun? Fun, I fun, like fun this. times? Um, the last new character that we're expecting to see is Echo, um, also known as Maya Lopez. She is sort of like um, Taskmaster. She has like a photographic memory. She's um, a fighter. She's born deaf. Oh, which is super cool. cool. Um, she's our first Native American hero. And another Kingpin reference in the comics, her dad was killed by Kingpin. Interesting. And her father has been cast in the show. Oh, yeah. So it's looking more and more likely Kingpin's that coming. Kingpin and Madame Mask are coming. Yeah. Too. And Daredevil. And Daredevil. And hopefully Punisher. Give us those hairy arms. The hairy arm Daredevil. That's all I've got for y'all. Yes. That was great. But I this is the first time like right I, you were working you were working on this while I was like working and so like I haven't heard any of this. And so uh it was great. It was impressive. Uh the the whole Christmas theme looks fun. I I'm more excited about it after seeing the trailer than I thought I would be, but I think yeah. it's going to for me be about on the same level as like Falcon and Winter Soldier. Is this going to get into your rotation of Christmas movies to watch every year? No. Christmas shows. Sorry. Probably. Not. Christmas shows, yeah. Probably not. It's, I kind of got like it's no jingle all the way. I got some lay. I got some jingle all the way vibes with this Turbo Man. It looks good. I'm just not like Hawkeye's. Just I don't know. It's just boring to me. Mm, I like Hawkeye. You would. 
And you're, you're gonna he's, like he's him cool. too, Brit. I, I, I'm willing to put money down right now that Brit is gonna <laughs> love. Y'all, I love Hawkeye now. It's gonna be the, that's gonna be three episodes from now. Three episodes yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, I'll say I really disliked like like Hawkeye. I'm just kind of ambivalent about. I really disliked Bucky, and I ended up liking him. Yeah, you love him. I would have preferred that well, they I... made him gay, but we can't have everything we want. <laughs> Oh, that's man. what fan fiction's for. Here, here's the thing, though, that they're doing with these shows, and I think it's brilliant that they've that they've taken time to to do this. They're picking these characters uh, that have been in the movies that we haven't had much time with, and so like you had more time to like get to know Bucky and like get to like you know because in the movie, like if you watch the if you go back and watch all the movies that Bucky is in, he. He doesn't do much. Like yeah, he doesn't. He, just he is not in the front line. Whiny McWhiny. And he whines and he whines, whines. Um, but like if you you got Wanda, you have Vision, you have Falcon, you have Bucky. Now you have Hawkeye. Right. Um, I mean Loki. You've had a lot of time with it at times, but but like these are characters that were considered like sub characters to the main Avengers. And, right. and so I think the opinions of a lot of people are changing with these characters. I, I think they have been in the background. Now they're putting them out in the front. So started at the bottom. Now I'm at the top. No, yeah, we and, do. And now we're those, here. Still Jenny from the block. One of those characters, perfect line that we're going to tie into this next thing is, is Shang-Chi. Let's Nobody go. knew who the heck Shang-Chi was. Yeah. And now he's raking it in, y'all. Look, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. The the audience score for Shang Chi right now has over ten thousand ratings, and it's at a ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That is wild. Ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. The critic score is at ninety two percent. That that is the highest one at the top. The highest superhero movie uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. I was not super audience jazzed score. about yeah this one too because i'm not i'm not like a big martial arts movie fan but i was blown away i yeah. was so happy with this movie yep and it's grossed in the two weeks that it's been out uh, it's grossed 256 million dollars mm -hmm. globally uh and this past weekend it was the second weekend in a row mm -hmm. was at the top of the box office and it made 35 million dollars just over the weekend. So it is still doing well. People are still going out and seeing this movie. This is actually, Mario, I listened to the podcast last week. Um, the success of Shang-Chi is why Venom got bumped up uh, to October 1st. Uh, the, the all of the movie, the big movies especially, uh, but specifically the Marvel movies coming up, they were, they were watching these numbers. And if any of these numbers right, concern them- they were going to delay. Further. They were going to delay Eternals. Yep. They were going to delay Spidey. So, so Shang Chi has come you, out Shang -Chi. And, and rocked it out, and he, and they have saved the uh, the movies and actually helped Venom. Uh, Venom Two has now been bumped up two weeks to October first. So, I think that's the main reason they bumped it up. I think they saw the success and they were like, "Oh shoot, let's do this." Um, Drop so, it now. Lee, Shang Chi. Give us your thoughts. What did you think about the movie? I will preface this. I know earlier in the in the episode we talked about Shang Chi. If you haven't seen it yet, yeah, this is your chance to leave. We yeah, we may want to give another. I'm signal. trying not gonna. I'm trying not. I'm gonna try not to get too spoilery and just stick to like the the technical aspects of it. I am gonna give a warning. I'm gonna get pretty spoilery. Okay, it's been out for two weeks, y'all. Come on, you had your chance. Yeah. I'll All right. Try to, well, I'll everybody try mute. <laughs> <laughs> uh so so my thoughts are i freaking love this movie you guys so did you the, think you were gonna love this movie i did not i was not excited about this movie at all going in mm -hmm. i was yeah. i literally i think i told you guys um mario and i went out with alex to see this movie right we went to like this you know buffalo wild wings beforehand i had a beer it was a tall one i was a little bit buzzed walking into that movie and ready for bed so I was like, this movie had better be good because your girl needs to stay awake. Let me tell Did you, you get the comfy chair for it. We had the comfy chairs, which oh, made yes. it all that more oh, tempting yeah. to fall asleep. And right. I literally could not fall asleep because the movie was so freaking great. 
like the choreography in and of itself with the use of the environment like when they're doing that fight scene on the scaffolding with the music the soundtrack my i think we talked about how like the music just matches because they match like the you know in the city yeah yeah, the environment to the music so like when they're in the you know in talo it's you know all more kind of like know. the fantasy music feel soundtrack it felt like you had two movies like mushed into yeah. one yeah but it it's blended so seamlessly mm-hmm. and then to, like just throw in the facts that they poked fun like thank god mario and i watched the thing on disney plus about the mandarin because <laughs> Oh, if we yes. hadn't, so that good, right? whole part would have been lost on me where the Mandarin, you know, is like this big comedic relief throughout the entirety of the second half of the movie. And his little like, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The most perfect comedic relief we could have asked for. Like, you yeah. can see him. Like, I freaking just the whole movie, guys. Like, his best friend was perfect comedic relief. I right. love that they She's didn't hilarious. take themselves too seriously. Like... It's not Lee and it I are the same. Movie. We need the reason that we like go for MCU over DC is because of the humor. The humor, yeah. Yeah. They do a great job of pace, especially in this movie. They pace the humor really well. It was so funny. I laughed so many times. Yes. Especially like the part, oh God, just all of it. All of it. I loved the whole thing because as soon as it started to get to a point where I was like, okay, it's been a lot of action, need a little something, they threw in a little cutscene to. Yeah, one of the funny characters. Down. Yeah, yep. Did love the animals remind you of Fantastic Beasts? Like yes. so much, like all yeah. of like the weird, yeah. crazy creature things. That <laughs> they remind Tallow. they remind me of Pokemon. Like we had like a, there was like nine yeah. tails yeah. on like there was the, nine on tails. The rock. It looked like nine tails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said that. She's like, it's a nine tails. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And then I was like, no, wait, it's a Kitsune. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, it, that it was one. like uh, Detective Pikachu with like the live ac- yeah. action pokemon roaming around so cute yeah. i want one of those so faceless butt things that he had yeah they were great it looks like he's a like pygmy where's his face legs. yeah he's sensitive he's sensitive about that yeah, it was <laughs> so good i um really good. i want to say too for those that aren't marvel fans or like aren't into like the kajillion things you got to watch to mm-hmm. kind of know what's going on this movie this stands by itself like that you you need to go watch this movie regardless if you're a marvel fan uh you're gonna enjoy it even if you aren't as deep into the marvel verse even if you haven't seen any marvel stuff like this movie is, is it stands on its make own sense. makes sense and does a really good job of of being on its own but also tying it um tying it to the mcu in, in certain aspects um but i will say um <coughs> I'm sorry. oh you sneeze i saw you about to mute I saw you had to mute my mic. I was, I was like, trying to doing? mute, but you weren't stopping. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> that was great. Um, the fight choreography, like with what Lee said, the fight choreography mixed with the like environment, like it reminded me of uh, almost like a, a Jackie Chan esque fighting, where they were he would just use anything he could, he could find, he use his jacket. He's like you're flipping on the two by fours and stuff. I- Think. It's beautiful. I remember graceful. reading somewhere that yeah. the Jackie Chan, Chan like choreographer, oh, worked on this. Not Jackie Chan, but no, the no, choreographer. No. Like one. the oh, gotcha. the fight scene choreography for like his stuff. I think I read somewhere that he was the one who did the yeah. the fight scenes in this. That that would make complete sense. I could definitely see that. Um, then you add on again what Lee said, the decision of with the music and stuff. Like the bus fight scene was great on its own. But when they dropped that like that urban track, I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh snap! Like they're about to they're about to go down here." Like reminded this is... me of Speed. Yeah, Speed. Speed. Yep, yep. Um, or Fast and the Furious, even. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. that type of vibe. Can't speak to that one. I and then, watch those. <laughs> and in the the trailer, <laughs> the trailer too, where they're showing the animation with the rings, like the effects, like. In the ring or in the comics, the rings are just just rings. They don't really, you know, they don't have these really cool like um, effects that we're seeing in the movie. And the the decision they made to mix that that like effect with the rings. Yeah, there's another thing in the comics that look more like those. And I'm 
blanking on what they're some called. Some sort of but, gauntlet of something. Yeah, yeah, so it was like kind of, but so that it didn't look too much like Thanos's, yeah. you know, like the Infinity Stones or whatever. And also, I'm going to, I keep talking, sorry guys, but the, the, the arc of uh, the Mandarin, uh, though he didn't even really want to be called that, um, the arc of, of the villain of the movie was so well done that, I mean, I can't, I can't go major you spoiler, felt bad. But, but like there was just, I was just like, Ooh, right. Yeah. Right in the field. And they do that. They do that really well with a lot of Marvel villains where they don't just make them a bad guy out there. They actually give them depth, which is good. Um, um fun, fun little insert. Mario actually um guest starred in this movie <laughs> he was um, in it. if you haven't seen it yet we'll wait for you guys to find him yes it was like the highlight of the movie for it penny pop, it she like quiz. immediately was like mario's in this movie it's mario <laughs> I, got, I got a pop quiz for you though was that the only marvel movie he was in no he's nope. the hot dog guy in, 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 in Spider-Man. Do a flip, Spider-Man. Do a flip, Spider-Man. Yeah, I was like... Dude, I, I saw him and thought James from, ex, like, expect to go James. And I was like... All I it's a, it's like a Mario. mix between Mario and James. Like, oh. I Yeah, the mannerisms, that. yeah, definitely yeah. a mix between the two of them. Uh, so Hot Dog Cart Guy uh, from Spider-Man, they had, like, he had this whole thing where he was pushing for a spinoff they wanted like this spinoff show for the hot dog cart guy. And it's funny that like all these people, like all the fans, this was like kind of a big joke. And then they actually brought him back for <laughs> another role in a movie. Yeah. So I was like, good on you, Marvel. Yeah, for sure. We dug that. <coughs> anything sorry, you want to, anything you want to add to, I will, I will add this. This is a sign of the times. We went into the movie. We had both of the kids with us and we haven't been to the movies uh, since Frozen 2 because COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're getting ready and Penny has a small bladder. And she was like, okay, I think I need to go to the bathroom before the movie starts. You take me to the bathroom. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to take you, but I don't want to miss the previews because I want to see the Spider-Man trailer and the Eternals trailer big. I, I want to see the previews. And she's like, what's a preview? <laughs> yeah kids don't even know what previews are and i'm like it's when they show you all the movies that are coming up she's like so a trailer like right. on youtube because the like, trailers just drop now on youtube like it's such a different experience for them like we the way that we found out what movies were coming out as kids is the is the previews like we would sit there and yeah. wait for the previews and be like oh that looks great now all said, that happens i ahead thought of time. previews were just ads and I'm like, when we were kids, there weren't ads at the movie theater. No, nope, it, was, it just, was all previews. It was just previews. So Penny, whenever we're saying we want to make sure we get there for the previews, Penny is thinking we want to get there for, for the, the commercials that they show <laughs> at the beginning of the trailers. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um anyway i am gonna rate this thing because i know mario you rated it uh last week i'm rating this thing i'm gonna rate it as close to perfect as i can without being a perfect i'm giving it a 9.75 okay i'm gonna go nine i'm gonna go okay. nine only because i feel like i have to like reserve i know there's some other ones that i'm gonna they're gonna be close to a 10 so yeah. i have to like i have to reserve those yep that's fair. I think I was going to go like closer to 10, but I think I'm going to go like 9.5 just because of like the, like in terms of rewatch value, like I will, I will rewatch this again, but it's not going to be like in my, you know, I watch all the Harry Potter movies over and over and over again. Fall He's going to like the magic <laughs> stuff like me. Yeah. Like that stuff that's coming up. It's going to be our jam. And then yeah. Mario, you gave it a you gave it a ten, right, last week? Yeah, like uh, like I think I'm gonna stick with the ten, uh, just because like I gave him. If you guys want to hear my full detail on why I thought of movies, watch last week's episode. But uh, something I didn't really mention uh, last week was just how special this movie is. Um, just you know, for like the Asian community. You know, it, 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 it mm. kind of had the same feel of like when Black Panther came Black out, Panther. like that, those, those goosebumps, that, like just the feeling of that, like how special that was. It uh, really does take that culture into account for sure. Yeah, like just uh, it's very, very special movie. It's great to, you know, see 
you know, because like, I, 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 there's tweets out there from him years ago saying, you know, he, he wanted to see an Asian superhero. You know, like where's where's Shang Chi? You want to see this? And I think this like really that actor, yeah, which is just, super cool. That's so cool. Yep. And then he became Shang Chi. Yeah, so like it's, it's a really special movie. Uh, I, I'm sticking with my ten. It was a fantastic movie, beautiful movie. Uh, it's everything I want to see in a movie. Going like I, I, I officially feel like I'm back to the movies again. I had a great time, yes. edge of my seat the whole time. Yeah. Unfortunately, mu- much better than Black Widow. Yes. Um, yeah. Black Widow was great. It was fine. It's but so this, funny. This was such. We were just such really excited movie. for new movie content. Yeah. But this was be, way better than Black Widow. <laughs> to be fair, I'm really glad that Black Widow came out first, though, because then we didn't yeah. know yes. so much what we were missing. We were like, right. that was good. Yeah, it was right. good. Yeah, we were starving at that point. Yes, we yeah. Like, Any anything was gonna taste. Good. You give me a salad at that point, I'll eat. <laughs> anything it. on a big screen <laughs> is gonna look like a good time to me. That's right. Right. That's right. Well, sweet. Yeah, it's a must watch. Go watch it. Go watch it. Um, so I think we're we're getting close to time here. I think so. Do you want to? You we want to shift gears and go straight into the oh, nonsense the draft? What do you guys think? I think so. Why not? We, we also have some, we, we had a section that we were going to jump into, but I think we still have some spoiler warnings that uh, in the chat that I, I don't want to spoil everything. Worst case, uh, let's, let's, let's save this page let's for next week. Next- yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. That'll give me more time anyways to pull assets and stuff, which will help make it more sense. So- and I got I, I to gotta customize my prop too, is props for this one. So yes. I got to customize my uh, prop. And you guys now have a deadline. You yeah. have to watch this movie within the next week. And yes. and you need to watch what Make if. Make it a priority. The Doctor yeah. Strange yes. What If episode. And then we can chat next week. Yes. For a new segment. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event. It is draft time, baby. For well, this week, yo. Somebody else going to have to explain it because I still don't really understand. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird draft. It's a bit of <laughs> yes. a weird draft. Mario. You got the floor All right. <laughs> with this one. So I originally, you, you guys know me, two-time champ. I love my wrestling. So I was like, you know wrestling. what? Let's do let's do something wrestling based. Um, so we're gonna go. I, I try different ways to do it to kind of organize it, but we w- went this way. We're doing a four-man or woman uh, tag team stable. I guess you can call it. Uh, in wrestling terms, a stable. Yeah, it's called like yeah, it's like yeah, like, like horses. Like 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 uh, like you think it's of a, it's a it's a four man tag match. Yeah. So we each we we each have four. I thought this was Royal Rumble style. No, that was one of the one of the ways we were gonna. No, do we're that. keeping it simple. We changed this so nope. many we're times. We're keeping think, it simple. Think of the four horsemen. Think of uh, think of like Toys the, R Us on Black Friday. It, the same philosophy works, Lee. It's the same philosophy. Just, Whatever you were going to pick for Royal Rumble. A, pick, but now they have to work four. as a team. Yes. It's different. There's a dynamic. I'm not, I'm going to give up on that right yeah. now, Lee. Yeah. A four-man tag that. match. We're drafting four fandom characters to duel it out in the wrestling ring against our teams. I need one of them. You need one of those. All right. Guys. Get out your D20 and let's roll for initiative. Oh, the only caveat, too, is that we cannot draft uh, anybody that has superpowers. And anyone's, correct? correct, and anyone's suit, like if anyone has a suit or a prop or anything that gives them some sort of power, it cannot be functional. It can be for flavor, costuming only. Yes. I got an 18, and that's a shoot right there, brother. I feel like we should just keep <gasps> the same draft order. <laughs> I know. Week. I rolled a 17. Oh, okay. Man. Well, Mike and I both got the same. We both got a six. Here, Ooh. let's roll again. Roll off. Who gets the they third pick? Ro- I didn't get my... I got 11 that time. It's not much better. You got a 14. Boom. So, yeah, about the same. That's... So, we got Mario, and then Lee... Mike and Mathiel. Okay. All right. I'm interested. I'm glad I'm last so I can see what y'all are doing because this draft confused the heck out of me. Just draft four people to wrestle against another team. That's it. Okay. That's, that's the we're wrestling. 
Oh, it's okay. different than a death match. So you know, like we're not talking about like a fight to the death with all your powers. Like this is a wrestling match. Like we're going for the championship right here. Yes. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go simple. I'm gonna go uh, with my suggested fandom uh, wrestling. I'm going to go into WWE. I'm gonna go to my favorite. You know him. You love him. He was in my Stone. group last week. It's it's the bottom line. Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. What? Please tell me in the chat if you are surprised about that selection. Surprised. <laughs> of course. Hell yeah. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. That's that's the pick. Oh, give, hell yeah. yeah. Give, give Mario a hell yeah in the chat, guys. All right, Lee. Are you uh, going with a wrestler from the 90s as well? I, I might be because can you smell what the Nickler <laughs> oh. is cooking? Oh. Very nice. Very All nice. Right. I am He's going with. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, please. Wow. All righty. Okay. Do all you right. do you get all the rock variants? Do you get Maui as well? I, oh, I have to, right? Do you get the Witch Mountain? The Scorpion Mountain. King. Scorpion King. Uh the guy from uh Jumanji. <laughs> yes. What, and was, from Jungle Cruise. And all right. Wasn't he a to the Tooth Fairy at one point too? Oh, and the pacifier no wasn't the pacifier that was vin awesome? diesel oh shit wrong one oh, all man. right oh that's a good one all right i'm gonna go you know since you guys both went wrestler a wrestler i think wrestler. i'm gonna go with a, ra a wrestler too to, okay. ma to match you guys i mean this guy I, he's not as prominent in uh in hollywood yet but he's getting there he's got his own show coming out uh in the dc universe he was just in the uh, suicide squad is it this i'm gonna go with a guy you can't see oh i'm gonna go man. with john cena wow and i just need that that song like can i get the song with him yeah you get the song okay. you can't see me Okay, I'm going to start off not with a wrestler. Yeah, just to clarify, we don't have to dra draft all wrestlers, uh, but we're drafting fandoms. I'm going to go with Call Drago. Why are you looking like that's a good pick? <laughs> I love Call Drago. That's an amazing pick. Okay. I'm Your sad about that. Else. I was like, that's a great pick. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm sad about Call Drago. I know, he's like, he's like, you know, he's beefy. Yeah. It's good to look at. Jason Momoa, man. Mm. Y'all go watch C with mm. Jason Momoa on Apple TV. It's so good. Um, and Drax is coming too. No. Too. No. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you drafted Drax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> oh man, it's, oh. I don't know. Now that you're reacting that way, does Drax have superpowers if no. he's an alien? He is not a superpower person. I mean, oh, he wow. goes into the inside of the beast and goes like this. He's savvy really fast. Stabs things. He does. I'm pretty sure he's not a handedly vanquish. Did beast. I just hand you that pick? Yeah, I wasn't gonna pick Son Drax, a... but um, Dang, now it. I am. Great pick. Thanks, Mike. Wow. So I'm gonna throw it back to you. What's your second pick? <laughs> Wow, Jeez. dirty, dirty. That was dirty. That was dirty. And All that's right. and that's like a wrestling thing, because he because he was a wrestler. He like, was, yeah. So he just, yeah, that's true. I, I wasn't even thinking about that's, that. There's my wrestling thing. Um, and technically, Call Drago is uh, is what's his face, Roman Reigns. I mean, they look exactly the same. So um, that's the same. Guy. No, it's not the same guy. <laughs> oh, I was like, for they real? look exactly the same, though. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with the Game of Thrones character that I wanted uh, out Don't the you. gate. Uh, this was somebody that, dude. If you think of a rest, a, a character from Game of Thrones that should be a wrestler, Don't like, do it, Mike. This person oh, the is such a fighter that he could he could probably take on the mountain. I'm going with the Hound. Oh, I'm drafting right, the Hound. Like the they're hound. they're like brothers. Okay, the Hound. Drafting the Hound. Technically, is that her? No, I think that may have been outside. Sorry, carry on. Sorry. There's a dog howling outside. Lee. All You're right. Up. So, who this is gonna be tough? Okay. Well, I definitely want. So, um, 
sticking with the 90s theme here, I'm going to go with a little bit of Bugs Bunny in my life, please. <laughs> you actually drafted Bugs Bunny? That's like I'm literally... actually drafting Bugs Bunny. <laughs> my favorite pick that you've the ever rock, had. The Rock and Bugs Bunny. Okay, it would be like a <laughs> Space Jam. Just wait till my next pick, guys. Just wait. It's oh, gonna be great. my I love goodness. Bugs Bunny. I think it's a great pick. <laughs> oh, this is almost as crazy as the rock and um, the rock and sock connection with, with the rock oh, and mankind. Rock and socko. <laughs> oh All my right. gosh, Mario, yeah, may, make make it through your picks. I got a good one coming up. All right, I got two, right? Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. All right, we 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 need some more muscle here, man. Uh, we're going to some movies. I'm gonna go. Uh, you know him, you love him. Uh, Rocky Balboa. Oh, there. That's oh, a good one. That's a really good, that's a really good one. I have got- did not think about that. Rocky Balboa. Very good pick. And you get another one. And I'm going to also choose another wrestler, uh, Nacho Libre. No! Yeah, that was my list. That was my oh next my pick! Oh, you what? screwed up Lee. You screwed up Lee and I screwed up Mike. Look at that. No. Maybe Mario is a Slytherin after what all. What a pick. It's a fine, fine line. Wow. <gasps> Ooh, what you gonna Lee, do? Uh, Lee's devastated now. That what, was the that was the what you gonna, gonna have do? To throw that back over to you now, Lee. Uh, <laughs> that was gonna be so good. Like Bugs Bunny, The Rock, and Nacho Libre. Like, <laughs> can you picture it? <laughs> that would have been oh, great. Oh, Mario, together. you just broke my heart so much. Like, I had, I did not think anyone thought of Nacho Libre. Yeah, Nacho Libre was on mine. All right. Um, I have <laughs> Please a- throw now. You just rock my whole world. Okay. Um, can I choose someone who's not allowed to use magic? <laughs> what? Like a person, like a wizard that's not allowed like to use Hagrid? magic? Like Hagrid? <laughs> I mean, yeah, as long as he doesn't use magic. Yeah, because he's, okay. I mean... Technically, he's a big fella. The, not supposed the magic to aspect would be the superpower part. And so. also, he didn't even graduate. So, like, and he doesn't have a lot. Like he's dumb technically. Before. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to go with Hagrid because Mario just stole Nacho Libre out from under me. I like it. I'm okay with Hagrid. All right. So, I'm actually thrilled that this pick got back around to me because this is what I wanted to do. Uh, this is when I thought about this. I wanted to create my my own brothers of destruction oh on my, my tag team. I just drafted the Hound. I'm 100% double dipping into Game of Thrones, and I'm Mountains. pulling in the Mountain with the Hound and creating <laughs> my own brothers of destruction on my team with John Cena. Are they going to be okay with like their family issues? Are Look, they just going to end up like bickering the whole if time? If Undertaker and Kane can work it out after Undertaker burned his brother, hmm. they can work it out. Whoa, their story is exactly the same. <laughs> Holy crap. The mountain burned the hound. Undertaker burned Kane. <laughs> like, Holy crap. That moment where it's just like, like in your head. I just <laughs> won this draft. I won the draft because of that. Oh my god! Oh I just god. drafted Undertaker and Kane. Okay, so I'm on to my last two picks. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I am having trouble. Um, I, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> okay, all This right. is how I always feel. This is where I like usually lose stuff. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go, I didn't freeze. <laughs> my brain just froze. I never freeze. Between these two. Um oh man, who are we gonna pick? Um, okay. I'm gonna go with Daryl Dixon. Oh Ooh. wow, didn't From, see that one. Uh, the Walking Dead. Wow. Uh, like I feel like like nobody's gonna take down Daryl Dixon. Interesting. A horde of zombies That's can't take him down. So Bugs Bunny is definitely not gonna take him down, right? Yep. Um, the last one may be what loses it for me. But hear me out, okay? He has he has fighting skills, okay? Mm-hmm. That's important and like he's, in wrestling. He's good, and he has he has great reaction times. He has great instincts. 
Um, and he's just like, he's seen, he's seen a lot. And I feel like this experience is going to help him a lot, um, in fighting some of these people. So I'm going to go with agent J from men in black. I'm going to go with Will Smith. (laughs) Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. Agent J. And also he could like coordinate like a dance intro for my Mm. team. That, that feels important. Now, can he use his wand, which is the uh, the brain neuralizer? Do we get weapons? Well, not can not you... the neuralizer, the noisy cricket. Oh, the noisy cricket. He was to shoot somebody in a wrestling. Oh, match? you only got steel chairs and uh, ladders and tables. <sighs> okay. Okay, that's what I got. I'm done. Good pick, Good Mike. Pick. Um, you're up, friend. All right, look, I'm going to go. I'm taking a similar approach to your Daryl Daryl Dixon. Uh, Dixon. I'm going with like a uh, survival team. Like these guys, John Cena can and withstand anything in wrestling. The Hound and the Mountain, they're crazy in Game of Thrones. They could you could they can barely die. Like they had to take each other out. Now, here we go. I'm taking the one person who is so resilient against anything you throw at him, even if it comes from the upside down, I'm going with Hopper oh, from Stranger I love, Things. That's a great pick. This guy has fought demons. This guy has fought so many things, and he still comes out on top. That's true. He does. That's a great pick. That's a, I felt like that was a sleeper Hopper pick. wasn't on my list. I like Hopper. Good job. I like that. Lee, your last and final pick of the draft. Um, <laughs> I think my brain's broken. <laughs> Just draft James from Expecto Go and you'll be good. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> to be fair, good. Sweaty Mike is on my list. I'm just what? saying. What? Oh! Specifically, yes. listen, specifically I in to... flamingo shorts. Oh, I, look, I, I got to help you here. Mike... I got tiger shorts on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike does wrestle a lot with the kids. And um, he usually loses. So I just, I want to throw that out there to you. Before, I'm okay with putting the kids you over. Tank your you know? I'm okay with putting <laughs> put the, the kids, kids over. Put the kids over. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's either Sweaty Mike, <laughs> Jon Snow, or Brienne of Tarth. Oh, oh yeah. Brienne would be great. I think it's going to be Brienne of Tarth oh, because I think yeah. the juxtaposition of Bugs Bunny and <laughs> The Rock with Brienne of Tarth. Oh, and you know what? Maybe there could be a love connection between her and Hagrid. I, I feel oh, I that in that. my soul. I yeah, feel I could that. see that. And like the rock. But isn't isn't she a lesbian? No, because she was gonna get she with was Jamie. With, she was wanting Jamie. But like, I think yeah. should have worked yeah. out with her. Maybe and she's Jamie. bi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. 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 Mario. All right. I think I'm just gonna try to get as over as possible. When it comes, I'm still in the wrestling mood, so uh, <laughs> he's big pop lately from the AEW side of things. Uh, I love them back when he was WWE over as hell, love him to death. I'm gonna go with the winner here, uh, CM Punk. CM Punk, you're Jeez. going with the punk, going with the punk. That was a rapper CM from punk. the 80s. He does sound like a rapper. The name of it, his name sounds like a rapper, a singer. but yeah, CM Punk, that's a great pick. Uh, he yeah guys let us know in chat who we didn't pick that we should have guys who is on your list that you didn't pick but was high on your list oh uh what was the question i'm sorry i was reading who who was high on your list that y'all didn't pick uh i wanted to go with a with like a quick like fighter um i was gonna try to take like nightwing or like robin um, but I felt like my theme is pretty, pretty solid with the yeah, like survivability. I, like so I also was going to, I also was going to like do a tribute to Doink the Clown. And, uh, he was from like the nineties in wrestling, um, and take the Joker. Um, I <laughs> Joker was on my list. um, but I did not. All right. Did not. Cindy said Arya Stark. She was also on my list. See, Arya's one, if it was fight to kill, yes. I would definitely take Arya. In a wrestling yeah. match, I don't think she would be very solid. However, in, a, in a, an assassination aer- match. <laughs> she is aerodynamic and tables, ladders, and True. chairs are valid. She could be so like she could be like she Jeff could Hardy. Jump she could, off the top rope yep. 
and like pull some Aria bullshit. You might do better in like a cage air. match. That's yeah. true. Mario, is there anybody on your list that you wanted? Uh, I had a couple. Like I was gonna go like Hulk Hogan, other wrestlers, but did anybody pick Batman? No, Batman. nobody picked Batman. Batman was like on my Batman. list. I was like. Adam West Batman. That would have been fun. That would have been a fun. Oh my! That that, that would have I would have clarified that on the graphic. And that, yeah, that, that would have been Adam a, West. That would have been a fun gimmick. And then, yeah, it was tough. You know, like you know, I, you know, the original thought in my head I was like, man, I really want to go hard with the uh, with the wrestlers, but I was like, I I did, I did my best. I got Nacho Libre in there. I'm happy with my choices. <sighs> Nacho God, I'm Libre. so salty Nacho about Libre Nacho Libre. Nacho. Dude, if I you also had Nacho with bugs. That would have been killer. That would have been epic. <laughs> yeah. I That's what I was few. saying. I'm like, oh, man. And the I rock. Had a <laughs> three 90s picks that I didn't pick. The Green Power Ranger, Tommy. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Um, The Karate Kid. Yep. And um, who was my... Oh, AC Slater, because he was the wrestler in uh, <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Oh, oh my that would have been, been dope. Been awesome. <laughs> AC Slater. Oh, dude. My other one was Wreck It Ralph. Oh yeah. Um, but I I wanted to do Korg, but I wasn't sure if he was like he like had powers because he's another alien. Um, I, I mean, I would have. I don't think he has like superpowers. Yeah, because like because Rocket Rocket doesn't have powers either, so he would right. count it too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about Rocket. Yep. I mean, um, I do counted, see, so I do see in the chat uh, Gimli. He was actually on my list. I was gonna. I was trying to think of a Lord of the Rings character oh. that would do great. Gimli, <laughs> I didn't think about Gimli. Gimli would be great. I he would so be like spirited. That he one. would be like a mini Stone Cold man. He'd come out there with his <laughs> with his little uh, ale and <laughs> he's very confident. Oh, that I didn't think one. of Paul Bar. Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Oh. oh my gosh, that would have been why. Such a great oh, pick. oh I, I, sh I should have went full goon squad. That would have been great. Uh, oh my God. If I that had thought of that good. after the Nacho Libre mishap, I was gonna go like Napoleon Dynamite because you know. Uh, oh, I would have. I would have gone Pedro. Oh, Pedro. 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 Oh no, Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico. That'd be Uncle dope. Rico. <laughs> be don't be jealous Patrick, i've been chatting online with they right all day. he didn't make it in the nfl so he's, he's your tots tina oh my goodness well yeah let, let's yeah, tina, so let's, let's recap the teams what do we have here okay so mario has got stone cold steve austin what? rocky balboa nacho libre and cm punk who is surprisingly not a rapper from the 80s yeah. we Woo! learned something new tonight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um lee has the rock that's like such a good pick i love it thank you bugs bunny hagrid without powers and brianne of tarth so future love connection there i like it i think so really, i like that part of it i'm just gonna mike has john cena because you can't see him He's got the brothers, the hound, and the mountain. Yeah. And Hopper. Hopper, man. That's such a good I did not even think about Hopper. And we just watched all of That's why uh, I remember him. I was like, dude, Penny. he gets beat up all the time and gets better right back he up. He really does. He's yep. had a rough time. And last but not least, my team, we have Khal Drago from mm. Thrones, good Drax, pick. who single-handedly vanquished beasts. Daryl Dixon and Men in Black superstar agent Agent J Will Smith. I like it. Like I didn't draft a Marvel character. I'm surprised. I had so many in my head I was going to go after, but there are, didn't a lot of, there are a lot of options tonight. Yeah. See, Mario, I was kind of panicking a little bit, but it ended up. I ended up having some people. It's something very different cool because we yeah. go we go very epic every week, and it's like we need to like find a way to get some civilians in this. You know what I mean? Like we need yeah. to get some like <laughs> some more simple people. But I thought this we was a fun to We need some civilians. But yeah, guys, I guess that's gonna do it for us tonight. Man, that was the friggin' Nerds graphic. This was the friggin' Nerds podcast, man. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, 
Big thanks to the people in the live chat. Uh, if you want to be among those people in the live chat, join us here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash friggin' nerds media. If you can't make it, don't worry. We post this podcast every Thursday over on Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Download Brother. it, rate, review, all that good stuff, brother. And uh, be sure to you know give us some love, uh, help support the channel. Um, and uh, stay tuned for some updates on our Twitter uh, at friggin' nerds and follow hang out hang out with us on Discord. We're always chit chatting. Uh, but stay tuned for some schedule changes uh, this coming week. Uh, see what's coming up. So if you want to keep in tabs on that, hit us up on Twitter. Uh, but always great to have you guys around. As always, I'm Mario Lima. I'm friggin' nerd Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm friggin' nerd Mike. I'm friggin' nerd me. So you guys have been friggin' awesome. And as always. Stay, Stay friggin' nerdy. nerdy. Woo.